There's refreshment in your spirit that only God can give. He wants to help you. Just like as the evening time comes and the temperature drops, it's been a hot day, but yet the breeze begins to blow. It's just refreshing. And God wants that same type of refreshment to come into your life. He wants to quench the thirst, and He wants to help you today. Hi, I'm Craig Fridgely, pastor of Calvary Apostolic Tabernacle with today's devotional. There's one thing we know, our body needs water. We need it to survive. Our body is about 60% water. And so you've got to take in adequate amounts of water. And that water refreshes your, your system. It goes down to the very cell levels. Your blood is mostly water. And so it gives you what you need to be healthy. It gives you what you need. There's nothing quite as refreshing when you're thirsty than it's just an ice cold glass of water. My friend, God wants to refresh your soul. He wants to renew your spirit. He wants to help you, and it's only done through His Spirit. Jesus cried in that last day, that great day of the feast, in John chapter number 7. He said, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink, and I'll give him rivers of living water. Out of his belly is going to flow that river. I'm going to pour it into him. It's going to refresh him. It's going to help him. And Jesus was talking about his spirit. Verse 39 clarified what Jesus was saying. That he was talking about the Holy Ghost. It wasn't yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified. But on the day of Pentecost in Acts chapter 2, the spirit was poured out. My friend, it's still being poured out today. And God wants to give everyone that drink of living water. That refreshing water. And it's not just going to be a little bit, it's going to be a river that flows through you, and it's going to help others all around. And so let God give you what you need today. Let God quench your thirst. When Jesus was talking to Nicodemus in John chapter number 3, he talked about it being a wind. And you don't know where the wind comes from, and you don't know where the wind's going, but everyone that's born of the Spirit is going to have that refreshing wind in their life. Then on the day of Pentecost in Acts chapter 2, the Bible said there was a sound as of a rushing mighty wind. Because God wants to bring refreshment into your life. And all of them were filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave the utterance. And God wants you to have that same experience today. Because Peter told them in Acts chapter 2, verse 38 and 39, you need to repent and be baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And this promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And in 2024, God's still calling. So let God refresh your life. Let God fill you with His Spirit. And let God minister to you today. If you have any questions about this, you want more information, leave a comment below. We'll be able to help you. God bless you. We hope you share these devotionals, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day.